Move it again. Oh, something with spin. Why do you it? Give it a second. Is it still dark? That's better. Used to use a dock with my laptop. But now that I've got this desktop, I just swap to my work laptop with separate cable. Don't need the old dock anymore. Put it away and unplug it again. Do that later. I um got a new base plate from my printer. So been printing again. Much better base plate because the one I had before it was like a eight like a plastic or carbon not a carbon fiber, like some sort of polymer. Not like cheap plastic, but like plastic, I think, or a resin maybe. Um, but the one I've got now, it's magnetic and it's flexible. It's a lot easier to pop off stuff. You can bend it off without it creasing or snapping. Dragonhorn? I have heard of such relics in stories and legends. Stolen by a dragon. Well, Sai Sahan has always enjoyed a good challenge. How will you find this creature? A long way to go. But such a relic is what Sai was hoping to find when he set forth upon this path. May Leki watch over you, warrior. I assume you told Kasura of our adventure, warrior. Mm-hmm. When you brought the Dragon Guard sect. When you brought the Dragon Guard Sanctuary maps to me, I had no idea what we would find. Hunting techniques, perhaps. Maybe a weapon or two. But the promise of a dragon horn. That's more than I dreamed possible after all this time. Those who risk nothing inadvertently risk it all. Either we face this single dragon to gain a dragon horn. Or we face a horde with the journals we discovered in the Dragon God sanctuaries point to one obvious conclusion. The Horn of Jadari exists, but was stolen by the dragon. The journals indicated that the horn was indestructible. And Stendar knows that dragons are as close to immortal and unchanging. Despite its age, the horses will carry us to the nearest port. An excellent idea. When Emperor it's a dragon horn of great power, nearly in what an unusual question. Don't you know that great deeds set the stage for greater victories? And what a deed you already accomplished. Rumor has it that all of Anequina knows you to be a mighty dragon hunter. Honestly, I find it invaluable to fight alongside Sam. Regardless of the risks we face, we have a duty to Tamriel to retreat. She's almost full. And I didn't visit a um oh. the dragon's layer should be nearby. Be on your guard. Visit a um level master, so I stand on the days of a shady ruin in the distance. Find place for a dragon to nest. I'll only do that now after this.
Sorry, mate. I'll be right back. Base is probably more important. I'll do the feed and then I'll do the boost base and then I'll go back to the stomach. Special item I wanted to put away. Look at that. Pops right off. Next, so I needed four twig blights, and that was the fourth. So I need three more needle blights, and I need three more um, vine blights, and then I'll do the wear rats next. I'll have to start thinking about printing the bigger stuff. It's pretty much the same as the old texture, it's just flexible. So I don't have to worry about it coming loose from the... What, from the, um, base. If, not, if I got a glass one, I'd be worried about that. But it lifting off the base once it's cooled down.
fact that fact that one of them was a um Call that speed? I've seen dozing on her. You're going into battle. You're going. But you found the guy lucky. Mara's heart.
Shields. Dragon's Lair should be nearby. Be on your guard, warrior. That Kashiti ruin in the distance. Fine place for a dragon to nest. Be slow for a dragon to fit through. Be uh, opening up further in. Right. Curious. Seems this place once served as a Kwama mine, though it appears abandoned now. Well, that's not good. Hide in the shadows, beast. Come fight us in the light. I bet him. Dragon guard who sought the horn of Jadari in ages past. May your light burn eternal, old warrior. Is that 
the horn of Aloxan's brother? This soldier was killed by Kwama. It must have been a massive swarm. Stay alert. I fear the beast lays a trap for us. Oh shit. Oh. Well that was a um green cape. Another quest on him. There you go. Dragon's roar has stirred the quava. Defend yourself. uses Kwama as a form of defense. How cowardly. Step quickly. We don't want to be caught in the open. Mm, you were saying? blocks our way. See if you can find any clue as to how to operate the pulleys. Unless he flies overhead. Oh gosh, there's a glow. That's for greatness.
I think flies in my head. Cost stains in water. The main, I'll cost them. Now. At last, the Horn of Jadari. We have reclaimed the Horn of Jadari. The dragon's attacks. Two arms. Pity I don't share my brother's sentiment. Gosh, how much health does this dude have?
Pitbulls. Get some indication where I am, but apparently not. It is good to see you hale and whole, warrior. But you found the dragon horn. I like his perfect blade. That is good news. Thank you, warrior. You did far more. I've returned, and I bring the dragon horn. Come, let us speak. Now that we have the Horn of Jadari, our true work begins. As the saying goes, strike when the opportunity appears, or stand by and do nothing. I can never do nothing. Most certainly. You saw how it knocked Veloxen out of the sky, granting us a significant advantage in battle. If it's as indestructible as the journal says, it will prove invaluable in the battles to come. I just wish we knew the Horn's origin. The Loxen implied that the Dragon Horn was willingly given by another of its kind. But what manner of dragon would give away its own horn? And for what purpose? I must train with the Dragon Horn and prepare for what lies ahead. And so must you, warrior. When the Dragon Guard dies, we say a prayer. May your flame burn eternal. It's a promise to honor. Reports tell me that the dragons have moved to the southern elsewhere. We won't be alone. We'll rally others to our group. I've been far too busy between helping rebuild the abbey and finding a way. And yes, she did. For a time. I hoped she would join me in my efforts to reclaim the wisdom of the... I'm afraid she did not say. Perhaps it was something she wished to do. It looks like a stone tablet in my inventory somewhere. Uh, going to Zin Ching to Monument Kanda. Wow. I am presently surprised.
More like, yeah. I was pretty far off. Oh.
East. I see that you've collected some of the tablets. Keep up the good... No, oh, I need to get these calendar tablets back. Many apologies. Did you not... That's the... St I erect the spine... Oh, the... The days of stone... He who held... I erect the spine of... I erect the spine of... Thang. Saxlil generally choose to live in tribes based around the history. How is the tablet supposed to be?
А вот. Well, it's a tablet. I still didn't because I didn't get, I didn't get one. Spawn. Strike in the wall, and you gain one point. Unless it's raining, of course, and then you are awarded two. The game is lost if the ball passes through the highest hoop. Unless the moons are both more than halfway full. I just don't get it. What kind of game has this many rules? generally choose to live in tribes based around a history. No Most, please, I will. Though the Saxleal generally choose to live in tribes based around a history. Get yourself a drink. And
State your destination, I'll add you to the list. Safe travels to you. We can find room. Tell me. Safe travels to you. Tell me. Safe travels to you. I can fit you. Let's go. This guy's need to be the day. Just a little bit out of my um, ability range. It's a solid player. Come on, just one more match. Give me a chance to win my gold back. And what will you bet? That ridiculous nose ring? Find another racket, Bragas. Tribute ain't for you. Hi there. What, Billy Boyd? Heard all that, eh? Guifa's a palms up card sharp. One of the best tribute players in town. But like I always say, if you want to take the measure of a grot, you've got to climb. That nose ring jibe was unnecessary, right? I'll get her next time. Sorin, right? She definitely has an eye for talent. Yes, I can tell you all about tribute. It's a card game. A yep, scavenger. That's a billy board. Zen's price. It's practically a religion for some folk. You want fame? Gold? It's all hey, Mary or Pippin? Taking. Pippin. Pippin. Ah, fresh player. Excellent. First things first. You need to learn the rules of the game. And you'll need a couple of decks of tribute cards, of course. Find Razamad in the Gonfalon Gaming Hall. Tell him Bragus sent you. Razamad's the game. <laughs> Ephraim's bones. An introduction would be nice, wouldn't it? The better question would be, what made you leave Valenwood? The answer, my friend, is debt collectors. Oh, Guifa, just a lover spat. She loves making fun of my nose ring, and I love losing money to her, apparently. Usually, no. Aye, that big building there. 
Mm -hmm. Used to be a house mourner villa, believe it. Well, we drink in there. Yeah, a chap. Looks like a casino. Probably read that for real, but. Greetings, my friend, and welcome. To the god then you have come to the right place tales of tribute is first you will need two decks each deck represents a different story a different strategy your opponent brings two decks as well once you and your adversary combine your decks the game can begin a shared pool you see make your way to the beginner's lounge and find my associate Bragas. tell him razamad approved an initiation match he will lend you a pair of decks and teach you them. Dear Bragas often strays, but never for long. His coin rarely holds out. He must be back by now, safe within the con. Yes, yes. Anyone with a pair of tri <sighs> Bragas. Oh, wait, he must be downstairs. Mm -hmm. There's... Oh, no, he's not. That's just a bit of a glitch. Ha ha! If it isn't my new old friend. Found a place easy enough, eh? Pull up a chair, have a drink. As long as you're buying, of course I'm in. Oh, did he? Oh, I love it when we bring new players into the fold. Gets boring playing the same old salts day after day. We need new blood in here. Now, before we begin, you... You try to defeat me, of course. First to 40 prestige, or winning the favor of all the patrons. Right. The essence of the game is to buy cards to add to your play deck. Each of us will use our play deck to score prestige. Until one of us gets enough prestige to win. Lots of cards, eh? The ones on your side of the table are yours. The ones on my side are mine. The cards in the middle are what we call the tavern. We each claim cards from the tavern to improve our play decks and earn enough prestige to win. You'll take the first turn. Let's both draw our starting hand. Each of your cards have a coin value, see? You can use their coin value to buy cards into your play deck from the tavern, the center of the table. Try to keep track of the value of the cards in your hand. Each card has a cost, a suit, and an effect. If I were you, well, this card here seems like the right one for you to buy with the coin that you have. So, claim it. When you buy a card, you subtract its cost from your coin total, and you get the card. Then a new card replaces that card in the tavern. You still have enough coin to buy another card, so let's do that. Now, you can't play a card you bought right away. When you buy a card, it goes into a cooldown pile here, see? You can see at a glance what card suits are in your cooldown pile. It looks like you don't have enough coin to buy any other cards. And there's nothing else you can do at the moment. When that happens, you signal that your turn is over. Any resources you have at the end of your turn will be cleared once your turn is over. Except prestige, that is. Once your turn ends, you discard your cards and draw five new ones. You can start to plan your next turn while I take mine. That said, you should always keep an eye on what your opponent is up to on their turn. They might buy a card or take an action that will force you to revise your plans. So now, it's my turn. I'll control the table until I signal the end of my turn. See if you can figure out my strategy based on my actions.
Well, well. The cards you drew gave you both gold and power. Power has two uses. The first is combat, but it also turns into prestige at the end of your turn. Remember, earning prestige is how you win. Remember when I told you that your currencies get cleared when you end your turn? Well, power doesn't carry over between turns. But when you do signal the end of your turn, any power you have left over turns into prestige. Good to know, eh? See, these little fellows, they're our patrons. Each deck comes with its own patron, and they play an important role in how the deck works. See? Each patron has something they want. A price, let's call it. They also have something to offer. A reward. Pay a patron's price and you'll get their reward. You have to pay the price all at once and you usually get the reward immediately. Try paying one of these patrons. Whichever one you choose to pay will offer you a boon. Just keep in mind, you're only allowed to pay one patron per turn. They can get a little jealous. Wow. Oh. The patron you just paid. Notice anything different about them? They favor you now. All patrons start in a neutral bent and then show favor to whoever pays them first. Of course, you can pay a patron that favors your opponent. If you do, that patron will become neutral. Pay them again on a later turn and then they'll favor you. And here's a tip. If you ever can get all patrons on the table to favor you, You'll win the game, even if you have less prestige than your opponent. Just one more thing to keep an eye on. Mm. All right, you need to draw new cards, but your deck is empty. Now we shuffle your cooldown pile, and that becomes your new draw pile. You might draw cards you bought last turn, as well as those you started with. Your cooldown pile is empty. That means all the cards you started with or bought during play are now in your draw pile. Right, it's my turn again. I'm going to draw some coin, use it to buy a card, and draw some power from my play deck, which will become prestige when my turn ends. Just like your turn, only, um, more experienced. Those cards you drew can trigger a combo. See how they have extra effects if you draw another card that matches their suit? Luckily, you bought cards with the suit you need to trigger these combos. Some of the most powerful effects on cards come from combos. And a card will tell you how much of each suit you need to activate its combo effect. Great players always try to trigger combos, so keep track of those suits. We're closing in on the end. I can tell by keeping track of the prestige we've earned. For this practice match, we're keeping the total small, but in a real game, you'll need more prestige to win. Ah, a grand victory! Well, maybe a little too grand. Go talk to Master Razamad and tell him you bested me.
Now, you claim membership in the Gonfalon chapter of the Royster's Club. A oh! Then, you joined the Royster's... The gaming... As... Remember... Well, man... A grand... No, my friend, I... Hey. Another ship went down. Got too close to that island off the southern coast. Mark this one. I don't got that odd. That odd. I don't Damn, this place is pretty bare. I mean, it's probably just the docks. The general doesn't see anyone without an appointment. The time has come at last, my friend. We now have the means to fight back against this dragon invasion and save elsewhere from certain destruction. This is where we start, in the city of Senchal. If you still wish to join me, that is. A dragon nests on a nearby island. 
I believe it plans to attack Senshar. Ah. We need to slay the creature before it strikes. Unfortunately, there's not a ship in this city that will sail us to a dragon's lair. Believe me, I've asked. General Renmus, leader of Senchal's military forces, could commandeer a ship to sail us to the island. We need to arrange a meeting with the general and convince him to support us. What say you, warrior? Will you help me slay this dragon? Oh. Now, meeting with an Imperial general is faster said than done. The paperwork alone would take days to file. And the dragon we seek could attack the city at any moment. So, I found an alternative method. Your aid and this handful of jewels. First, you must bribe Renmus's scribe Nadama to put us on the schedule. You'll find her in the tavern. Next, you need to speak to Darku in the city's outskirts, just south of here. He can forge our credentials. You also need to delay Arniel Bronk, who was scheduled to meet with the general today. Arniel's ship just docked in the harbor. If you steal his vessel's manifest, the dockmaster should detain him. That will give us enough time to speak with the general. Lucky be willing, all will go well, and our meeting with General Renmus will commence without issue. Meet me at the palace when you're done. Meanwhile, I'll learn all I can about our upcoming dragon. The outlying towns have already been ravaged by dragons, and refugees have come pouring into Senchal as a result. They hope that stone walls will stop the dragon's wrath. Mm -hmm. But it's only a matter of time before the dragons attack Senchal. Why else would it roost so close to the city? I believe the dragon is evaluating Senchal's defenses and preparing for the right moment to strike. We must slay it before it gets that chance. That is my hope. No matter the risk, our best option is to slay this dragon on its own island, away from the innocence of Senchal. Let's hope the general agrees with that logic. Of course, I would hardly ask you to join me in this battle without it. Yeah. I've also been able to train with the Dragonhorn, and become more attuned to its powers and limitations. We know that the Horn of Jadari can force dragons out of the sky. I also believe that it's practically indestructible. However, I find that the Horn needs time to replenish its magic after every use. It means I can only use the Horn occasionally in battle. That limitation aside, it's still a powerful weapon. It will greatly aid us in the hunts to come. Be surprised what people tell a respectable gentleman with a distinguished beard. Take Nadama, for example. I heard that she's been seeking a way to leave Senchal for weeks. A few gems would certainly help pay for her passage. It was easy enough to learn about that braggart. I overheard him in the tavern, claiming that he could forge any document in Senchal. For the right price, of course. Let's see if he has the skills to back up his boasts. All ships coming into Sanchal are subject to a cargo inspection, unless they present a sanctioned ship's manifest. If you're able to steal Arniel's manifest, he'll be held up in customs for hours. That will give us time to speak with the general. Yes, lucky willing. Had we the time, I would go through official channels. But with so much at stake, we can't afford the delay. We have no choice but to use these underhanded measures. Very crazy.
Whether writ or will or waver, Tarku is your savior. Tell this one. Interesting. Most interesting. Diplomatic people. Ah, yes. Children, what of them? I do not know. We must know. There's no work in Senchal. How will we feed them? We can't go back home, dearest. There's nothing left. Can't you see that I'm trying to drink away? Today, <laughs> you are very, very funny. General Renmus's schedule is full today. Hmm, I didn't know you were feeling so generous, Walker. Thanks for the generous. I'm going to... Is how big is this place? Gerald Afrin's hold is no longer haunted. If that was you, you have my... Do I know you? If not, I suggest you move along before I summon the guards. There are many vendors in Sen... You honestly have no idea what... I'm an herbalist. I prepare an herbal remedy that maintains the health of my customers. The fa Be quick, be careful, and... Legality is determined... <laughs> and... Are you attempting to ask... Don't worry. I think he's getting me to deliver the schema. Do not wait on there.
ready for you now. Finally. I thought I'd never get off this dock. You said you had a ship manifest. May this one be Yes, you must. Right on. All right, this ship is deployed. Is something the matter? Do you play games with this one? There is no manifest on this ship. <laughs> what? No, that can't be right. I'm sure it was there. <laughs> able to secure a meeting with General Renmus? Huh? And so we must prepare for our first battle, my friend. A battle of wits. Remember, we must convince General Renmus to commandeer a ship for us. With it, we'll sail to the Dragon's Island and slay the beast. Not much. And what I do know, I'm not sure what it means. A ship sailed directly to the Dragon's Island recently. It displayed no banners, and no one in Senchal recognized it. It's possible we're not the only dragon hunters in Southern Elsewhere. I won't discount the possibility, but I also won't plan for it. For all we know, this ship was bound for another destination. Or, it has other business on that island. Though I'm at a loss as to- Halt! Official business only. We have an appointment with General Renmus. Here, our papers. These seem to be in order. All right, you can go in. Stealing a work of art is despicable. But destroying one is unforgivable. If there was any justice in sense, this room housed a priceless tapestry called Kajita the Moons. But a gang of Arctic <laughs> degenerates shredded it and ran off with the pieces. They scattered like skeevers after the theft. She has learned that their leader, Nishzo, has a hideout in a cave on the coast north of Senshal. But even if he is still there, Maybe I couldn't confront him herself. She can. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Restoring the tapestry will prove to the... My entire life, before the flu and the fires, before rogues and imperial thieves brought their corruption, before everything, it is more than just... It's not every day that Captain Sai Sahan graces my office. Greetings, General. I am here to request a ship to hunt down a nearby dragon. Slay a dragon. And this from a man who couldn't even protect our Emperor. Fuck Perhaps you. you should speak to my companion. They can share the details of our plan. So, you're a companion of the infamous Captain Sai Sahan. Though I suppose that title no longer means anything, given the current state of Syria. An admirable venture, I'll admit, if not a foolhardy one. Unfortunately, I have neither the ship... Which is precisely why I can't agree to your request. If a dragon does attack... Thank you for your time, General. Come, my friend. Let's speak outside. Very hard to protect someone from a trailer. Hmm. 
was like, oh, that dude's got no head. Hidden in shadow. Well, look there. Wait, we have a guest. Hold on. I think I know someone who can help you. Hello, I'm Aelia Renmus, General Renmus's daughter. I couldn't speak freely in front of my father, but I might know someone who can help you get to that island. But tell me, do you truly believe you? Then I want to help. Or, well, send you to someone who can help you. You should speak to Zaji, captain of the Perfect Pounce. He may be a smuggler, but he cares about Senshaw, and he's my friend. I know, I know, my father certainly wouldn't approve. He loiters around the city's outskirts, along with his first mate. I should head back to the palace. Good luck! Let's see if this Zaji fellow is as honorable as young Aelia believes. Would you care to walk there together? There's much about Sencha, I can tell you. Very well. Refugees from the recent dragon attacks have flooded Sanchal. They have lost homes and livelihoods. Despite the city's best efforts, most go to sleep hungry each night. Many take advantage of these hopeless souls. Thieves and cutthroats steal any item of value they still carry. While these refugees languish, the city's underbelly thrives. While the dragons ravage this land, these people will suffer. That is why we must fight. Not for glory, not for fame, but for the innocents of elsewhere who cannot fight for themselves. Just buy another ship? Costco, you won't, Saji, you truly do. Can't you see that Zaji is grieving? He has lost everything. His home is the perfect pounce. The finest vessel to sail the Topol Bay. Mm. Someone stole her as we slumbered. A heartless wretch. A thief without honor. Member of Zaji's very own crew, he is sure of it. Nartis Meris. Ugh. May he suffer a thousand salty cuts. No, but Nartis does. And Zaji knows we can find him in Southgard ruins. Pounce needs provisions before it sets sail, and that's where Nartis will get them. But why are you offering to help, Walker? Elias sent you. Then you must be Walkers of Honor. And this one must admit, slaying a dragon sounds quite heroic. We must head to Southgard Ruins and search for Nartis. It is a coastal town of sorts, just south of Senchal. With some persuasion, that clawless dark elf should let slip the location of the perfect pounce. Then we steal her back. He is the newest member of Zaji's crew, came aboard only a few weeks ago. And this morning, Zaji's blood may boil, but his mind remains as sharp as a blade. We came to Senchal for provisions. It is unlikely oh, half that the would journey out to sea without stocking up first. That means dealing with the vagabonds in Southgard ruin. It used to be a fort, but as the name suggests, it's seen better days. Now pirates and brigands call it home. Ah, and so we finally move on to one of Zaji's favorite topics of conversation. The perfect pounce. It, indeed he is. There is no treasure too hidden, no adventure too perilous, no glory too great for Zaji. In such situations, Zaji tends to go with his well-toned gut. And his gut says this dragon will be a problem for Senchal eventually. Kaska? Why, she's the Pounce's first mate, of course. Don't take her manner personally, Walker. She's a... <laughs> 
first, our ship is stolen. Then, before we even know where it is, Zaji agrees to sail a string. Kaska, first mate of the Pounds, otherwise known as the one who keeps it. That dark elf didn't. If he's not, we'll find him eventually. Um, try on the good life. One hot hell. Only hell. Sneak. You do remember how to do that. Our new companions certainly love to quarrel. Zaji wants to infiltrate the encampment and take Nartis by surprise. Kaska, on the other hand, suggests we launch a frontal assault and deal with him directly. Very well. We'll start our search at the north entrance. I'll follow your lead. Meanwhile, Zaji and Kaska can make their way to the other side of the encampment. I'll leave their strategy to them. Luckily, Zaji provided a map of the area. I've determined a few locations where I believe Nartis may be, given their relative isolation from the rest of the encampment. At the very least, this path should let us search most of the camp. Enough. Do you accept the plan? It is an excellent plan. We'll circle around to the back, yes? And knowing your mouth will alert every pirate in South Sands along the way. Saji is the epitome of discretion! I'm going to take the lay of the land. I'll meet you. Damned stone deeper. This for dying. Can you do nothing right? How will we escape now? Oh, this one was just... Ugh. I will not fib. Daini meant to rob this caravan. Do not judge. I swear on the moons I did not... This was an accident. Even if it was not... Completely missed that, but I'm guessing I don't want to know either. Dole with the terror birds. Yes. Daini set them on the caravanners. Only to scare them. But the birds gobbled the guards up. Bad luck for them and for Daini. The goods I meant to steal are ruined. Daini can fix this. I just... I really need help. You will help, yes? Thank you, Walker. If we can find something valuable in the wreck... Bah! What else is there to know? Nothing but clawless brutes, all of them! Sorry, Daini <laughs> has lived under the heel of these... I believe really he's got like a pack on the back. Them all her life. I did not mean for them to die, but I cannot shed a tear at their passing. No. The cat they serve, though? Daini knows him all too well. But he is not worth talking about. Someone in my position does not have the luxury of vendettas. This one needs worth to leave Southgard. It is as simple as that. Is it not obvious? Ever since the flu, Southgard stinks of ash and bloodshed. No artisans ply their trade here. No merchants sell their wares. Only skooma dealers and slavers and cutthroats remain. We cannot live this way anymore. I... We live hand to mouth here, Walker. In Southgard, you learn to steal. This one secured the passage on the Nord. Impressive, yes? An old trick that Daini's father taught her. Set the campfire and fan the smoke toward the herd. They think a blaze approaches and run the opposite way. New here, eh? You ask what happened? The scorch happened. At the height of the Nahatan flu, the Khajiit went mad trying to halt the spread. Frantic cats set fire to houses, towns, whole city. <laughs> that is what we. What the hell?
like sneaking is gonna be difficult. A minute or for a second. That's just one of those huge dudes. Sign of the dark elf here. Let's head north. Stand back. Quickly now, after him. Ugh. Right. I mean, that was still. That's one way to catch a thief. Walker, good to see you. Look who Zaji found. Why don't you say hello? <laughs> Please, Please, Zaji, Please, don't Zaji. let Casca rip out my room. I'll stand guard while you interrogate Nautis. All right, all right, I admit it. I stole the perfect sounds and brought it here to Southguard. But I no longer have the ship, I don't. Um, printed off these three today because I got my new base plate. A lot better because um, before the old one I had, it was like a um, it's like a hard uh, plastic. It's like a polymer or a plastic or a resin, so you can only bend it so far unless you want to risk snapping it. The new one, it's magnetic, so there's a sticker onto the base plate, onto the actual underlying plate. And then the thing on top is just magnetized, so you just stick it on, but it bends properly like a um, piece of paper where you can only bend it so far unless it, until it creases, but I so sold the ship bendable, to so you can just pop everything off. But they haven't set sail yet. The ship will still burn. That's the thing, it, the other one didn't get worn in. I, I just stabbed it by accident and lifted it like. I chipped a bit off by accident. This one, it's just, yeah. So this one's got the same material, but I won't have to, like, scrape as much. I... did, did I say slaves? <laughs> the 
silly me! I meant cargo! They're loading cargo! I would never sell a fish. All right, yes, yes, Arathi is a slaver. But I swear, I didn't know that until after I sold her the ship. Please, you have to believe me, I'm innocent here. Zaji wants you to know there are no hard feelings. In our business, it's sink or swim, yes? Ah! Oh, that's right! You can't swim. <laughs> That went exactly as planned. Which Zaji is counting on it. There's no place for slavers in elsewhere. But there's plenty of room at the bottom of the sea. Perhaps Kenarthi will even take pity on Nartis and guide him to wherever it is that God. There's not a sailor in the Topol Bay who hasn't heard of Admiral Irathi and her practices. Many right. Khajiit have suffered because of her. But now we have a chance to repay this suffering, yes? Oh, you want a plan? Uh, now, that plan would be... Ah! Zaji and the Bearded One will draw away the slavers. Meanwhile, Kaska will help you secure the perfect pounce. We'll reconvene when the... Against my better judgment, I think we should follow Zaji's plan. Besides, it's best if you help secure the boat. We wouldn't want our new friends sailing off without us. Good plan. Let's just say I'm not discounting the possibility. Aelia Renma seems like a respectable woman, but she may not be the best judge of character. For now, let's hold up our end of the bargain. Make sure you keep up, Walker. Make sure you keep Good to finally meet you. What a prick. Remove that wheel lock or we'll never sail out of here. It is good to be home. We should sail for Sunshine before reinforcements. Oh, this is a very empty um, point. Hey, Walker, get us out of here. We're not cut the rope. I told you the captain would get the pounce back. I heard what happened from the crew. 
I'm glad you were there to help recover the pounce. I don't think Zaji would have handled the loss of his ship very well. Speaking of Zaji, did he agree to sail you to the island? I'm glad to hear it. I knew Zaji wouldn't let you down. I'm coming with you. If this Aww, dragon is going to attack Senshaw, I want to help defeat it. Besides, I'm sure you could use an extra hand. They're not going to be pissed. I'm good with a bow. Look, I'm aware of the risks, believe me. But this city is my home. I can't just stay behind and hope you stop this threat. Not when I can help. I won't stand by while my father and friends are in danger. Guess the captain got the pounce back. He always did. Practically everything. If it weren't for old Dirge, the whole ship would sink under the weight of the grime and barnacles. <laughs> Not that any of these louts would notice. I had to Your do that, and I've I'll give you that. Enough to slay the water, a dragon. I can do it under Arnok. The odds don't look good. We don't know the island. We have no idea how strong the dragon is. We'll have to improvise. And wait for this dragon to burn the city to the ground? Someone on this ship has to be. This one is cleaning. You may help clean, or you may stop bothering this one. Whatever needs doing. Cleaning, mopping, stabbing. Sometimes this one stabs and then cleans up afterwards. Also, Chisbari is well known for her cheery disposition. Jal, you are the one who got us back the perfect pounds, yes? Yes, back when the ship belonged to a rather nasty fellow by the name of Bazahar the Bull. A heartless taskmaster who didn't care a lick about his crew. The Pounce was a lot. What's not to like? He respects his crew, makes sure we're well cared for, and he's always excited for the next advent. I won't deny Zaji is cunning when he wants to be, but it's Kaska that keeps this ship afloat. Mm. Kaska's the brains, and Zaj is the face. Now that we've secured a vessel, our next step is to infiltrate the dragon's lair. Saji will stay on his ship in case we need to make a quick retreat. Casca, on the other hand, has asked to join our hunt. If she wishes to protect her home, she should have that chance. Once we reach the island, we'll search for the dragon. Luckily, we have the Horn of Jadari to help us fight the beast. Indeed. Our journey to recover the relic may have been a long one, but it's proven to be an Every time I see Dragon Horn, I keep seeing, said, thinking it says Dragon find Horn. More resistance than just a dragon on the island. Another ship was seen heading toward the island. I'm not sure if its crew are friend or foe. Very good. Let's go deal with that dragon. The dragonborn would also be very useful. I'd be able to put down the dragon permanently. Let's discuss our plan of attack. Judging by that docked ship, we're not the only ones who have business. There's a dragon guard proverb. Prepare your counter before the blow. In other words, if they swing at you, be ready to swing back. I spotted a cavern northeast of here. Scout ahead and see where it leads. Meanwhile, Casca, Elia, and I will search for the main entrance to those ruins. Elia, Casca, you're with me. Stick close and prepare to fight. I'm always ready to fight. Just keep an eye on the little one. I can take care of myself. Yay, of course I'm on my own.
Thanks for the assistance. Problem, mate. friendly and the Christians are they bandits cultists rebels something else Dragon cult worshipping a bad an evil dragon. Eh, it's not shit. He's a bit of a knockoff Krayhoff. They are enemies to be defeated. These banners, the motifs. There's no mistaking it. This is a Dragon Guard sanction. Well said. I was able to track the dragon's movements. It should be just up ahead. Be prepared, little one. I can smell them coming. How many? Does it matter? They will die all the same. Show yourself! Prepare to meet your end! The horn didn't work! How? Uh, of course not. The 
That's my horn, mortals. Tell me how you came to possess it. My companion will speak with you, dragon. But make one wrong move, and my blade will cut deep. I am Nathalar. I do not fear you, hunter. If you seek a battle, understand that it will... Zukorov. Ah, so it was Valoxin who hid it from me. Hmm. To protect our kind from the horn's power, no doubt. Such an honorable fool. Hmm. My oldest foe. A dragon of great power and evil intent. He gathered a cult to do his bidding and subjugated our brothers to his cause. Those who oppose him die. He plans to destroy this land and me. Why would I attack the Ka's city? It means nothing to me. Only Latvulan matters. Mm. You... Hold! This dragon means no us no harm. harm. Did we come all this way for nothing? That's still to be determined. For now, let's spread out and see what we can find. We're getting rubbish across the floor. Well, I certainly didn't factor this into my plans. The Dragon Guard were very clear about their dealings with this Latvalon seeks to destroy all of Tamriel. If Nathalar wants to stop that, I'd say we have a common cause. I may not like it, but Nathalar possesses knowledge about Latvalon that we just don't have. And the might of a dragon at our disposal isn't something to toss away lightly. Yes, our mission was successful, my friend. It just didn't end as we expected. We secured passage to the island. We found the dragon. And we made sure Sanchal was safe. We also need to learn more about this dragon, Latvulan. If it does indeed wish to destroy all of... If we're to fight back against Latvulan, we'll need more than a single dragon. We'll need an order dedicated to eradicating this threat. The time has come to reform the dragon. I do. The crew of the Perfect Pounce already helped us on one dragon hunt. I'd like you to see if they join us for many more. Speak to Zaji and see if he ended. Let's hope Zaji takes our offer seriously. He may find it hard to believe that we want his crew to join the Dragon Guard. In fact, I'm having. The Imperial Dragon Guard was formed centuries ago by Riemann I, founder of the Second Empire. Though we seek to emulate the Order's dragon hunting practices, the Dragon Guard was. I suspect it has to do with the Order's Akaviri origins. When the Akaviri invaded Tamriel, they were defeated by Riemann and ultimately swore loyalty to him and... The Akaviri have a long history of hunting dragons in their homeland. And so the Dragon Guard were both the Emperor's honor guard and accomplished dragon hunters. This lasted for nearly two se- The Dragon Guard was officially disbanded. Some members swore loyalty to the Potentate and acted as his spy masters, while others became mercenaries. There were even members who continued to hunt dragons, though in much smaller numbers than before. Members of the Dragon Guard were the premier soldiers of the Empire. They were master strategists, disciplined and honor-bound. Yes, how could I forget? I led young Aelia in her first... The Imperial Dragon Guard... I'm not supposed to have access to shit.
Yes, the captain. Practically every. Zaji knew his gut was right. Only a truly great warrior could tame a dragon. Do you suppose the creature would really? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Who wouldn't want the daring Zaji by their side? The offer is tempting. Whoever defeats these dragons will have their names sung by moon singers for generations. Zaji is not one to hesitate, Walker. Not when a stranger asks him to sail to a dragon's island, and certainly not when that same stranger offers glory and fame. The crew of the Perfect Hounds will join your dragon guard. Hmm? Ah, yes. <laughs> Zaji will speak to the crew. However, there are two crew members. The dragon guard key! Who? Dirge Traptor has more book smarts than the rest of my crew combined. Now, that's not saying much since most of my crew... Well, Dirge has an awful lot of contact. He always helps us figure out who we can trust and how to avoid those... Ah, she's Barry the Chipper, as she is known. You'll see why as soon as you hear her. Oh, Zaji, life on the seas is not... Our mysterious crew has departed. Those left alive to depart, that is. They were dragged. Very well. I will join your order. Why would I hesitate? These dragons killed many of my people, and I cannot fight them alone. The Dragon Guard would have very strict order, yes? I doubt our crew would do well with too many rules. Perhaps some changes will need to be... I have faced many enemies. Nothing was too big or too powerful for me to challenge. I didn't always win. I would rather die. Yeah. Can you see I'm reading? Oh. Thought it might have been some sort of code. Well, guess I'm free now. What do you want? Captain says a lot of things. Like more riches than we can count, and easy as a spring breeze. Now here we are, hunting dragons like they're some kind of sky whales. Well, you are anyway. I got books to research. Who'd have thought reading could be so handy? Anything, Dragon Guard. Books on killing dragons without getting eaten, I hope. When I scare up some leads, I could use your help retrieving them. I hear anything about those new moon fanatics while I'm at it, I'll let you know. You can't tell I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs> um, so I'm going to hop off early and leave it there. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube and want to check out the Twitch stream live, uh, please um, check out the link in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash wydos96. I should, I'm likely to be back on tomorrow, even though it's supposed to be a day off. I might do painting, I might not. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure at the moment, so... If I'm not on tomorrow, I'll definitely be on on Saturday. But, yeah. Till then, see you later. Bye.